Okay, with problem number 14, we start working with word problems. And this is a typical type of Algebra 1 word problem. The sum of two consecutive integers is 135. Find the two integers. Well, consecutive, first of all, we should talk about consecutive means in a row. 1, 2, 3, 4, or 8, 9, 16, 17, etc. So if we don't know what the first number is, we can just call it x. And then we're looking for the sum, so we want to add to that that number plus the next number. Well, how do we get to the next number? It's just one more. How do we get from 4 to the next number? We just go up by 1. So here we're just going to go up by 1 also. So x plus x plus 1 and that's the sum of two consecutive integers has to equal 135. If we want to find those two integers, we're just going to solve this equation. x plus x is 2x plus 1 is 135. Subtract 1 from both sides. And we get 2x is equal to 134. All right, so then we're going to need to divide both sides by 2. If you have your calculator, um, half of 130 is 65, half of 4 is 2, so this should be 67 here. And so that's going to do it for that problem there. All right, so let's go on to the next word problem on the list here. So first in number 14, we have x is 67, but it asks for the two numbers, the two consecutive integers. So the first one would be 67, the second one would be one more than that, which is 68. All right, so for number 15, we have a mechanic charges $50 an hour plus parts. If a bill was $450, that included $150 in parts, how many hours did the job take? So if we let x be the number of hours to complete the job, then we know that there are two parts or two components to the bill. There's the fixed costs of the parts, which is $150 here. So the fixed cost is the $150 in parts. That's charged only one time. There may be many parts, but all together they just add up to $150 and they're charged, as I said, one time. But there's also a variable cost and that variable cost is the number of hours or is based on the number of hours it takes to complete the job. So if the mechanic charges $50 times the number of hours it takes him to finish the job, We'll just call that number x for right now. And in this particular case, the total came out to be $450. So the $150 in parts plus $50 times however many hours it takes to complete the job is going to add up to $450. And then we just solve this the way we would solve an algebraic equation. Isolate the x. It's only one on one side. So we subtract 150 from both sides. We get 50x is equal to 300, divide both sides by 50, and x is equal to 6 hours in this case. And so that's going to be our answer for number 15. Okay, so we'll complete this video here and we'll go on to problem number 16 in the next video.